IDF gains control of Hamas territory in northern Gaza, kills 150 terrorists. Here's a summary of the article. Israel Defense Forces's 401st Brigade has eliminated approximately 150 terrorists and gained control over Hamas terrorist strongholds in northern Gaza. The 401st Brigade has eliminated approximately 150 terrorists and gained control over Hamas terrorist strongholds in northern Gaza. Targets included an arms production site, launching stations, and an underground network. Read a post shared by IDF on X. In a previous post, the Israel Defense Forces on X wrote IDF aircraft struck a series of terrorist targets belonging to Hezbollah in Lebanon in response to launches over the last day. Targets included terrorist infrastructure, military posts, weapons depots, and intelligence infrastructure. Among the terrorists eliminated were Ahmed Musa, commander of the Nakba unit and Omar Alhandi, commander of a terror platoon entrenched in western Jabalia. IDF reservists from the 252nd Division attacked 19 Hamas terrorists overnight who were preparing to attack its forces. As many as 50,000 Palestinians have moved from northern to southern Gaza through the humanitarian corridors set up the Israel, the UN Office for the Coordinator of Humanitarian Affairs has announced, the Times of Israel reported. Palestinians have been able to evacuate northern Gaza due to a formalized humanitarian pause in the fighting that the Israel Defense Forces implemented in several neighborhoods in northern Gaza for the first time after pressure from the Biden administration. It was the sixth consecutive day in which the IDF permitted people to flee northern Gaza and move south through the Salah Adin humanitarian corridor, with 50,000 evacuating in the course of seven hours, the Times of Israel reported. This post received a score of 6,100, with an up-vote ratio of 76%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. IDF's 401st Brigade has destroyed an arms production site, launching stations, and an underground network. Just realized it's been over a month since those hostages were taken, keep hoping to see something about some being found safe. I think at this point the only people who believe they might be alive are their family members. There have recently, few days ago, been two videos released on Palestinian telegram channels associated with Hamas, showing at least two of them alive a 12-year-old boy and an elderly woman. Although I don't recall seeing anything to confirm the date of recording. Could have been recorded earlier. Most likely was yeah. I don't really get how people are this hopeful. Imagine your mother went missing. You know that she's probably dead since it's been a month, but what if she wasn't? What if she was out there waiting to be rescued and you just went on with your life? Or maybe you'd like her to be found to see how she died. I hope she died painlessly and quickly. But did she? You will never know until her body is found. Edit. Is greater than greater than greater than if. Hamas were only tough against civilians and babies. They fucked around, thought they were strong. Now that they face an actual L defense force, they get to find out. They thought the hostages and world support for the Palestinians would protect them from Israel, like it did in the past decades had they only attacked the bases and taken hostages, this might have happened, but since they slaughtered nearly a thousand civilians in brutal ways and publicized how proud they were of doing so, whether they were toddlers or literal Holocaust survivors, no UN binding resolution is going to stop this now. No I think their plan was to draw Israel into Gaza and have other Arab nations, Iran and their proxies, join the fight. It's why they posted videos of everything as they wanted to bait Israel. Their problem was that they didn't expect the US to park the carrier right outside the zone. That alone deterred anyone else from truly getting involved. Question mark. America rolling up with the biggest bus on the planet. Two of them. Hope they continue do what has to be done to eradicate Hamas and find the kidnapped hostages so violently taken. I can't get the image of that young girl with blood on the back of her pants being forced into a truck. I fear that I never will. JFC me too. I keep hoping I'll find an update about her and that she's alive, although I know that is unlikely. That video is seared into my brain. Absolutely horrifying. And people are denying that it even happened. I didn't think my opinion of humanity could get any lower after the last few years but this entire situation has broken me. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.